Pro Football Hall of Famer O.J. Simpson has died. According to his family, Simpson died yesterday from cancer. Fox 5 News anchor Tom Haynes joins us here in uh, studio with a look back at his life and career, a, a huge juxtaposition from his career to his later life. But uh, he's been known for making headlines on and off the field. I think. Yeah, it's and the say. news surprising a lot of people when it came out today, Christine. Before the controversy, O.J. Simpson was a Heisman Trophy winner and standout football player at the height of his career. Nicknamed the Juice because of his initials, Simpson was the number one draft pick of the Buffalo Bills. He was elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1985 after a highlight uh, career in the NFL. A favorite uh, and father of five, he enjoyed being a sports hero and movie star in various films. He took over the national spotlight, though, in June of 1994, when he became the main suspect in the murder of his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and friend Ron Goldman. The world was captivated as he attempted to flee and led California police on a slow speed chase in his white Ford Bronco. It was a televised media spectacle that drew an audience of some 95 million people. Simpson was eventually found not guilty of the two murders, but was later found liable for wrongful death and battery in a civil suit against him. He was ordered to pay $33.5 million in damages to both the Brown and the Goldman families. Simpson later served almost nine years in prison for robbery and kidnapping in a Las Vegas sports memorabilia scheme. Over the years, the story of O.J. Simpson had generated a tide of tell-all books, movies, studies, and even debate over questions about race relations and celebrity culture. Simpson himself even sold the 2006 book titled, If I Did It, and gave a hypothetical account of murders that he had always denied committing. According to his family, he was surrounded by his children and grandchildren during his passing. O.J. Simpson was 76 years old. Christine? Yeah, so many people talking about just how this was ingrained in society. Yeah. We, all of us watching the trial, uh, all of us knowing where we were when the verdict was read, and a lot of us remembering really the second half of his life and, and the turmoil. And if you were of that generation, remembering exactly where you were when that slow speed chase happened yeah. on the streets and highways of Los Angeles. All right. Tom, thanks so much. Sure.